Welcome to the Giga Track. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. This is Trials Rising for free. Available today, the Giga Track, a throwback to the best Trials game, Trials Evolution. You can see the bronze medal here is 28 minutes. Let's hop in. Let's take the Mantis and let's a go in the GigaTrack here on a PS4 Pro. Fingers crossed they've fixed the problems they've had the past year. I seriously doubt it, but that'd be nice. Let's hop in and see how long this takes me on a blind playthrough of the GigaTrack. The Platinum Medal for the Trials Evolution GigaTrack is about 8 minutes-ish or so. I have it. I did that back in the day. And as a reminder, I am still in the top 1% of this game, even though I haven't played it in a very long time. And this right here is a Trials HD throwback. Again, an amazing game. So, HD and Evolution, two of the greatest games, and there, it's still busted. It's still busted. Two of the greatest games of all time were those two games, right? Fusion was okay. I thought the trick system, the FMX trick system was a misstep. And when they announced Rising, and it appeared to be a return to form, I was very, very excited. But if you've seen my videos on this game last year, you would know there is a large, large part of the game that is disappointing on a level technically, and it's that. It's that right there, right? The tracks were great. The world map, the stage map, nah, they could have got that revamped, redone, re-something would have hopefully, you know, made that better, but they didn't. Um, and so, again, I check every update. I make sure to look at every update and go, you know what, did they fix the part where it has that hitching and stuttering, like every 40 or 50 seconds? And no, it's still in here, right there. It is still a problem. And when you are in the top 1%, when you play the game and you want to get through the experts and zero faulting, uh, you know, and getting those Platinums on Expert and trying to play through the Ninja Tracks, uh, yeah, that's a problem. And it's been a problem, and on PS4 Pro, it is not fixed. I've heard it's fixed on PC, but why oh why would I give Ubisoft more money for a game that I already bought once, that I already gave them money for? That just seems unthinkable, but I'm sure some folks have done it. Uh, I don't know how... It runs on, on Xbox. Again, why reward a company with more money for that when they haven't fixed it uh, and it's been a problem since day one? And before day one, funny enough, in the closed beta and the open beta, which I did play, it was fine. It was not a problem. And if you if you watch my other videos, you would know that my, my uh, synopsis here of what the problem is is that it's pinging a server every, you know, minute or so. There. And when it pings the server, it hitches up. And you would think the easy solution there would be to stop pinging the server. Because if you play this game offline, if you're just off the internet, it doesn't do that. So, again, uh, this, this should have been my game of the year for 2019. Should have been. Um, I should have had a lot more hours in this game. There, sh there should have been a lot more videos from me on YouTube of this game, and there aren't. Why? Because of that... Oh, there's the first fault. Three minutes in. Because of that particular issue. If that issue wasn't an issue, I would have spent way more hours playing this game. Because it is, without a doubt, one of my all-time favorite series of games. I spent so many hours in HD, in Evolution, and even in Fusion, I could ignore the FMX, the trick stuff. Welcome back to the GigaTrack late title card. I spent an extraordinary amount of hours in those games. But when the game itself has problems because of their insistence on everything being online and constantly checking the internet, then what are you gonna do? On my end, really, you know? Like, believe me, there are way more games to play in my life on this channel, etc, etc. And when something simple like that, something obnoxious like that, becomes 
a problem, then yeah, I can certainly uh, play other games. Red Links, Ubisoft, uh, what are you doing? But, having this throwback, having this free throwback to one of the best games uh, in any other scenario would definitely get me interested and invested to come back and play it again. Uh, but clearly, I check every patch, and every patch still has the same problem. It's just, that's, it's that one singular thing. I can ignore everything else. Like, I can ignore the terrible world map. I can ignore pretty much every other issue this game has, except for the fact that it hitches up every 40 to 1 minute uh, intervals. Consistently, whenever you're playing the game on the internet. And so that is, again, not great. And they say this is the largest track they've they, they ever made. I'm in space! This is the largest one they've ever made, uh, ever. And certainly, the original, being a platinum in like eight minutes, is that's a long track to not fault at all. Now, granted, this game, they've changed how that works. Like, they've changed the metrics in how faults work. I missed that one entirely. Oh no! Two faults. They've changed the false metric in a game where just it costs you five seconds, right? Which, sure, fine, I guess. Well, that's a long checkpoint. We did it, though. We did it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. So, like, that change was certainly controversial as such, but you deal with it, right? It's fine, as because... The thing is, when you're good at this game, what you want to be doing in the first place is not crashing at all. So costing me five seconds when I crash is kind of inconsequential, because my aim is to be doing platinum runs, or diamond runs, and not crashing to begin with. That's not gonna... nope. Oh man, that was... I could see how that is a sweet, sweet thing there, but I totally botched it. So... What else is new? Now you can see there on the uh, upper right hand corner, that is my current uh, thing there. How far I am, I'm not, like not even halfway. We are 6.30 in here and I'm not, ah, uh, not even halfway on this. How much longer can I keep on complaining about this game? Look man, I got a lot in me for a game that I, that I like a whole lot. But again, uh, as I've said a number of times, on a number of different platforms between YouTube and Reddit and Twitter and wherever else, the tracks are good. Like, people who make the tracks, I don't blame them at all. They made good tracks. Uh, it is the overall management from Ubisoft and everything that they've done to cause this issue and then to not fix this issue. And I will certainly give them credit on a lot of their games where they, they will continue, they will conti continue to, you know, work on those games way past when anybody else would get, would give up and say you know what for honor forget that siege forget that and they will continue i was just not paying attention there they will continue to work on those games add dlc and you know make things awesome um eventually they'll get there this game on this one singular issue they haven't gotten there and, and, and continue to not get there and then also continue to put out tracks that are out, outside of their season pass, you know, that cost money. For like, they, they cost acorns, and acorns cost money, and it, that's a whole... That's a whole thing, right? Four faults so far at a halfway point on the Giga Track. Um, heading toward this vol volcano. Digging that, right? So... It's one thing to add stuff, but when the core of the game that people who want to enjoy it on a high level in the top 1% and the only way to do that for me would be to turn off the internet and then pause it right before the finish line and then unpause it, which I did for about 70 hours, which is why I'm in the top 1%. But at a certain point, that's just annoying and I shouldn't have to do that and yet here we are with this nonsense. And personally, for me, a big part of this game and this series is those leaderboards. I like being in the top 1%. I like improving my times against other players around the world who are way better than I am. 
but I don't want to have to keep on pausing it and unpausing it and re-enabling the internet to do that. That's just not... It's not right, man. It's not right. But here we are in 2020, and we said, hey, man, free track, free giga track, and as a huge fan of... Whoa! Evolution, which is still a great game, go play it. It is now backwards compatible on Xbox One, so definitely go play it if you haven't. Um, or get it on PC uh, in the Evolution Gold Pack, which has all the tracks from HD, which, again, amazing game, amazing stuff, uh, and d d does not have this particular stupid... Oh, back tire! Got it! This particular stupid glitch that is, es essentially for me, as a fan, has just made this I mean, not want to play this game at all, which is, you know, upsetting to me because I want to play this game a lot more than I did. Ten minute mark. Ten minute mark, only four falls, which honestly, for a blind playthrough, not terrible. And also talking while I'm playing, you know, that's a big part of it. Because um, if you haven't tried doing that on YouTube, it's, you know, it takes some practice. We're talking about practice. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! All right, and then heading back down over the volcano. Um, and through the woods, and that right there could have cost me, right? If you're not in the, in the right position and it freezes, it takes away all control that you have. And as a player who, you know, is somewhat okay at this game, that's obnoxious. But I do like me this track. Like, again, and the snow! The snow, we're in the mountains! The mountains! I can dig that. And I can't dig that every single time. It is absolutely obnoxious, if you will. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Uh, can we? No. All right. So it's going to be one of these where you got to let the back tire go up and over and then down. So not the smoothest, not the, oh, not the, um... Ah! Not the most finesse, but you take what you can get, and then underwater perhaps, or into the ice? Into the ice. Sure. I'll take that. Just keep on going. Keep on trucking at 11.30ish. And yeah, three quarters through here. So another couple minutes to uh, finish up this giga track. Oh, just barely. Just better. It's almost like kind of a moon type type scenario. Almost kind of otherworldly, if you will, here up in the uh, frosty peaks of the Giga Trek. But yes, I have to wonder what is the platinum, what is the diamond for this track, and how long would that take to memorize this much track? Because memorizing, you know, a minute of track, fine. A minute and a half, fine. You know, like most tracks are not super long by design, but certainly when you make all the rules and then break them with this kind of a just mass of humanity uh, type of thing, mass of just mass, it's nuts, man. It's nuts! Somebody's mail truck. Somebody's UPS is not not getting there. That's fine. Alright. So I do have to wonder if there's going to be anything else like being added to this game past this. Like, this seems like a, like, end of the hey, we're done working on this trial, which is kind of a shame, because, again, it's been over a year now, and this version on PS4 is still busted, and that is... Oh, there we go. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. That is a shame. It really is. As someone who loves this series, that's just kind of a bummer, man. It really is just uh, depressing, because I wanted more. Fuck that up. I wanted more. Give me more, give me more. So says Britney Spears. Um, Alright, let's focus here on... Yeah, I keep botching that. And you botch that, and guess what? You're not gonna make this. You're gonna hit this guy here, and that's gonna be a problem. So, here come the faults, man. Here comes where the last third of the track becomes more difficult. And then the skill has to play through here, right? You need to have that. How do I keep botching that? I was doing the 
little bunny hop thing. I should have gotten over that, but I didn't. So, what the hell? And why the hell? There. That's what you want. And that's what you want. I just had to do it somewhat properly. With that little bunny hop. A beardness. The roof is not on fire. Come on, man. Come on, me. All right, we're at 11 faults here, and we're still... Now we're just getting lazy and unfocused again. Like, you have that focus, that laser-like focus for the first, you know, minute of a track, and then when you are at, like, the 50-minute mark, which, again, the bronze here is, like, 29, almost a half an hour. And I'm certainly well, well below that, but... I'm not anywhere close to the end, so if I can do it in under 20, that'd be great. Perhaps a silver, perhaps a gold. Uh, I would wager a guess that perhaps platinum is under 15, but that's just me uh, sitting here doing my my thing thing as a guess, as a good guess. But all right, so up this mountain, oh so snowy, oh so frosty. But so far, I mean, this is, this is this is a medium track. It is just a very, very long medium track. So, you deal with it accordingly. But nothing in here is going to be on the hard level, or the expert level, or the ninja type scenario. Just, you know, endurance, man. It's all about endurance, as our truth would say. That's endurance. Okay, so... A little bit trickier here, but nothing too out of the realm of, you know, whatever. What ifs. Not, not a bad track to sight read. It's fine. We're getting close to the, the end of the track here. Very close. I would assume the top of the mountain here. Alright. Up and continuing to go up and up and up and up and up and up. Oh, that's an interesting one. That's a don't mess that up. You're gonna fall back on the mountain. And there's there's a volcano in the background from earlier. Can we do it in under 18? Oh, that's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. I was like, man, we're so close. We're right there. And then you botch the lip of the stupid thing. Botchosaurus. That's me. Nope, watch that. Like, you can tell immediately. And then you got... Wow, that, that's a... Alright, so the thing with the, these, long, these longer tracks is that the checkpoints are also uh, much more unforgiving. Come on, buddy. My hands are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. At this point, at an 18-minute mark, uh, it is going to be... Slow down there a little bit. Checkpoint. Is that the final checkpoint? It appears that it is. You just hold it and hold it and hold it. And bunny hop. And then head towards the finish! That's cool. That was a cool effect. Um, Because there it is. We have completed the Giga Track, and it's gold! It's gold. So I'm going to assume Platinum is under... 1348 is the Platinum. I can't imagine. Is the Diamond under 10? Because that would be nuts. But, whoo! I've done it. I've defeated the brand new Giga Track. I am your host, Attack Slug. What is my place on the leaderboards for that? Let me know, video game. Load some more, because that's always a problem. It is... Bam, 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 1,112. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. See you next time. And I'm out!